Hey guys, I'm uh, sitting out here working on some equipment, and uh, I wanted to align something, and I need my signal generator, and it has not worked right in a long time. It may have never worked right, I don't know. This is a TS-413U, it's a military signal generator. It's a big heavy bastard. Um, but the problem with it was, this is a stepped attenuator. You can turn it down to, you know, 100,000, 10, 1,000, uh, 110 microvolts to uh, set various things. And here's your uh, the output level indicator, uh, tuner, band selector, so on and so forth. Well, this didn't work. If you turned it all the way up, you got full output. Anything below that, I had nothing. And it wasn't stable, it wasn't working right, so I figured, well, let's open this piece of junk up. Uh, let me flip this thing over, I'll show you what I found. Uh -oh. Alright, here is the stepped attenuator. And basically this is just a big rotary switch. See, it's you turn the, the shaft and, you know, it's got the, this is the moving contact and here's your various stops. And I don't know if you can see in there, but... All it is is a series of resistors. It's no big deal. Uh, this is the signal in from the generator itself. It goes through a, a series of resistors. And finally over here it ends at ground. Well, it goes through a resistor to ground, but it ends over here. And uh, I got to looking at it, and I, checked the res I started checking the resistors. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a big burn spot right here in this first resistor. So that explains why it did not work. So I'm hoping that I can simply replace that and everything will be peaches and roses and all that fun things uh, once again. So, uh, well, that'll be nice. Unfortunately, I don't have a 45 ohm resistor. I don't know what sort of resistor this is. I think it's carbon, but I don't really know. But I don't have one of these. But I may have some things I can make work. So I'm going to try something out and hopefully it'll fun it'll work. I'll be back in a little while and let you know one way or the other. Alright, back with an update on this old piece of junk. Got it put back together in its uh, case. And uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but let's see. Kill some of the light. But there we are, the voltmeter is indicating, which is not something it used to do, at least not very well. I've got the attenuator all the way up, and you can might be able to make out full scale on the scope there. Step it down with band, step it down, so on and so forth. The voltmeter is still reading. It's just at an output level uh, lower than my scope will pick up. We're at uh, 10 microvolts there. Here's 100 microvolts. Scope doesn't start picking up until you get to 10,000. So, there it is. The uh, scale seems to be relatively accurate. It's not dead on, but it's close. I put a 47 ohm resistor in there instead of the 45 it calls for, but it's what I had, and it's good enough. Um, this is not exactly a precision instrument, but it'll get the job done. One weird thing about it, the, uh, I don't know if you can read this here on the, on the voltmeter, it says RF volts, RMS, no load. Okay, and the oscilloscope will indicate peak-to-peak -peak voltage. So if I need a, and most alignment, uh, information instructions will tell you 50 millivolt, you know, 50 whatever, peak to peak. I have to translate that to RMS voltage by uh, dividing it by 2.8. <laughs> so I have to do math to make to make uh, this scale give me whatever it is I'm supposed to be using it for. So yeah, it's not the most convenient thing to use, but it does work now. Uh, I actually have an attenuator so I can set things up like I need to. So, I guess I've staved off my need for a better signal generator for a little while. Uh, I still want one, but at least this works for now. So, there you have it. Old military boat anchor piece of junk. Back in business. Uh, 
license data plate here is missing, but it's a TS413U. Uh, I don't know who made this one, but I believe this is from, you know, 1950s, maybe early 60s. Uh, it's pretty old stuff, but oh well, it'll do the job. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.